that time. Uh, and I didn't even care how much money I'm spending. Oh my god, this is like <laughs> horrible, you know, young blood. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta uh, have those times too. Yeah. So listen, yeah. listen. I saw that, and I uh, take my money. You're like, what you what you drinking? <laughs> then go home. You know? <laughs> no, get, get out of my house. Shave yourself or get out of my house. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god oh and the french girl with hairy nipples oh my god i was like what the fuck is that so i grabbed the one i was like i was like <laughs> i'm on the wrong fucking show <laughs> <laughs> yeah they already had work they told me like hey Vince, i think i saw you in a porn movie Oh, With that like, mustache, yeah. it's easy. I was oh like, my goodness! Oh, I like, know that's Charles Bronson. He said, "No, I'm pretty sure I saw you in a porn movie." I was like, "Yeah, well, do they were fucking Indian?" You know, like, "Well, were you so sure that you saw me in a porn movie?" Then you should. That's you should that's, that's, that's the f- first ten minutes of the video edited already. That's. The- <laughs> 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 ah, you're recording already. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't see that guy. I, I told him like when you show that I'm, I was in a porn movie, then you should you should walk around in pro, close proximity with your bum cheeks really tight. I just want to <laughs> say for any for anybody that sees this video other than us three, um, Vince is a Trump supporter. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> we're in deep waters. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, Lloyd, have you have you uh, get a chance to watch that video that I resent? I started it, but um, I have these two things called children. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of stopped me midway, but I watched like the first half, and um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's an interesting from... video. It's it kind of reminds me of um, another uh, interview. I, I not of interview uh, a critique I read I, I read of Last of Us Part Two when it first came out. And uh, the headline of the actual article was, now if Metal Gear Solid stealth was like this. And you know what I thought? When you, when you watch the videos, you, 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 when you see just the, 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 the AI in the game, it's like Metal Gear had great AI. Don't get me wrong. It had good AI, but... Man, Last of Us 2 is like on another level, man. It's, uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, that's true, it's, that's true. I just sent a video to Vince today uh, discussing The Last of Us 2, but hmm. this is a fairly recent review. So the guy had a few months and he actually went in and tested out all combat scenarios, everything that wow. happened. And he said that... Uh, this having this level of quality with their AI was not yeah. your initial intention yeah. for the first part of Last of Us. Last, uh, yeah, you can, although their attempt uh, uh, at the first one wasn't exactly the best, mm. uh, he says that from his, in his personal opinion, they definitely reached uh, the quality they they strive yeah. all time yeah because oh yeah definitely. In last of us two is just top you quality. can see it yeah you can see it man it's like it, it's organic it it, it really it generally feels organic when, when when it's being played it doesn't look like oh when i die and yes. spawn again i'm gonna see the same guy doing what he's doing there and the woman standing over it 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 just seems organic. It's like no matter how, what, t- how many times you start the same mm-hmm. um, le- scenario again, the things will be different. They won't be. It won't be like oh, because they walk past you this way. And and there's so many games that are made where you can come and try and try again, and yep. you, you always beat it because you know the AI is just it's it's simplistic. It's like oh, you know. Um, exactly. Don't get me wrong. I've, but I've also, also they they have this trick to further humanize their their NPCs. Mm. Mm. So if you've noticed, the enemies give give uh, different calls to each other, uh, yeah. and uh, they actually call each other by name. 
by names yeah 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 of course, so of course. It, it's like I, it's like real people and you can yeah. see all the different tribes having different oh, uh, languages yeah but he, he also noticed that in one of those sections when uh, ellie was passing through then one of them was like there were two i think there were two men and one uh, uh one uh, female and uh i don't know what what, what was her name or like that doesn't ma matter here but let's say becky yeah but he he said he tried like uh, maybe uh two times like uh you know uh, they to kill her and they were calling out her name uh, becky becky the third time suddenly it was emma yes <laughs> i don't know wow but i'm not surprised it's 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 uh, it's a very recent review because i when i was dude, watching um, it i was like how many hours did this dude put into it <laughs> no but it's like you see you see the start of the video it's like all the all the thumbnail or where it's like um she's under the truck and they're walking around and he goes to see even goes as far as to say it's like in 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 the hardest level it was what's the hardest level in it is it uh it's, it's not game plus is it no, it's um, the new, the down, the most recent uh, download they released. It's like it's increased uh, the level of difficulty to the extreme. Oh and yeah. he says, and the video he's showing, he's under the truck and he just simply cocks his gun. And literally you hear the woman go, did you hear that? And it's like, what? <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly I'm, I'm not joking. It's, it's, it's like, what? Because so many times and like, come on, you, you, you play games like Metal Gear. He pull, you pull out your binoculars, you pull out your guns, you're switching with ammo. It's like, <laughs> that makes noise, man. That yeah, makes fucking, yeah. but the level of realism in this game, it's, it's on another level, man. It's like, Jesus Christ. Just, I was thinking to myself, just the, the, the thinking of uh, the, the thought process of, um, you know, um, accounting for every sort of scenario. It's like, if this happened, if this happened, if this happened, because I think what a lot of people have done with Last of Us Part Two is they've done what they did with Metal Gear. Oh, I wonder what happens if I do this, you know? And to their surprise, they're like, oh shit, that's been accounted for. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's awesome. It really is awesome. I mean, um, you got a lot of people obviously who don't like the game because, you know, Joe didn't kill everybody and, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and go to Ellie, Ellie's fucking wedding or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? No, um, it's, listen, the way you got to, the way The Last of Us 2 is, is conceived is it's people trying to um, come to terms with this new grim life they're experiencing. It's like there's nothing yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, and even, even so Abby, he said, he, he, you they're know, surrounded he loves by it nothing, more. Yeah, they're, they're surrounded by nothing but death. So the theme, I could understand the theme of the second one, being death man everyone just gets fucking yeah it's, you you have to be able to picture <laughs> picture yourself into their shoes and and living in that type of world like even abby said mm -hmm. like he enjoys more uh that second game i was like you know like that's what you can like okay joel died yeah because we love him he's a main pro main protagonist with ali but you know like you need to expect that yeah that's the kind of a world you you know they are living in and yeah. uh but even if you don't pay attention in that game, uh, you notice that. Like uh, when I, I mean, to me personally, I noticed like especially with the dead dogs. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my god, the enemies are way more sophisticated in comparison oh, yeah, to yeah. the first game. Because yeah, it, when I was making yeah. video for YouTube in that section. I'm, I'm just bitching and moaning. I'm going like, damn dog, I can't sleep me out, oh, god damn it. And then he he sort of he sort of you know he spooked me and I started running and then he's like enemy, enemy, chase him, boom, and they kill me like six times. Yeah. I was very bad. I was like, wow, my like, even now I have goosebumps. <laughs> I mean, if uh, you look at um obviously it's a the, the technology, you know, um systems have advanced in over the years and people have managed have decided have discovered how to you know um create all these um you know put these ideas and implement them into a system that they've worked with for a long prolonged period of time um but like um so i, I take that into consideration and i i appreciate metal gear is old especially for phantom pain it's it's not you know, it's in comparison to Last of Us 2, it's old. Yeah, things have progressed. But at the same time, um, 
the basics, the simple basics in the eye, I think Last of Us Part Two uh, outshines Metal Gear in a sense. Just the simple basics. I mean, I, you, you mm-hmm. think about it. In Last of Us Part Two, you can't run around the corner and and, mm-hmm. and crouch, <laughs> <laughs> and then hear a. a mm. <laughs> where, did, where did he? Where did he go? <laughs> no, it, it, there is there is none of that in Last of Us Part Two. It, it's just it, you run around the corner. There's a fucking another two guys in your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know also, what I mean? uh, if you're, if, mm-hmm. they've also programmed the enemies to turn around whenever you're walking uh, towards them from behind. Yeah. They always yeah. turn around. You cannot and, sneak and, on and, someone and, unless you're crouching. Uh, that, I yeah. thought that was yeah exactly. Uh, yeah, it's 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 absolutely insane. There is that the, the, uh, to put it to, to boil it down. There is no more, uh, no more of that. Um, uh, you know, generic. Uh, uh, confused and lost. Uh, you know, enemy turns around and walks back to his post. There's none of that anymore in Last of Us 2. They've eliminated that. Um, they they very rarely, I mean, if you think about it, like, how long does it take, how long does it take in Metal Gear for you to lose a guard? And how long does it take in Last of Us Part 2? <laughs> in Metal Gear, you simply have to turn into a box. I mean, yeah. seriously, guys. <laughs> okay, now let's just for a second think, imagine. A human being had a wallet-sized box that you open up and it expands into this cardboard box you can hide under. You've just run around the corner and there's an enemy behind you right about, what, 0.8 of a second. <laughs> In that 0.8 of a second, you're going to pull out your card-sized fucking cardboard box and you ping. And then <laughs> the worst part of it is the enemy runs around the corner and goes, huh? Oh, it's just a box. And oh, moves off. I mean, seriously, come on. Man. <laughs> seriously, come on, man. I, I, listen, I love Hideo. I think Hideo Kojima is amazing, but I really do think he needed to crank up the AI a little bit, make it a little. And if you notice, I think Last of Us Part Two has, has, is going to start a trend. I think you're going to see a lot more grit here, a lot more AI, uh, in, in, improved AI based games, oh, because yeah. they've, set, they've, they've set a bar, they've set a standard. Because now every time you play, a, um, any sort of stealth action game or you know third person adventure, you're always going to compare the AI to Last of Us Part Two, always because they've set a bar, they've they've read, they've set a standard. It's like this is, you know. I, I agree um, with you completely. I I'm curious to see how Naughty Dog themselves might uh, go forward and improve this. I'm wondering what's yeah. competition going to do about this uh, yeah. with your. Co- your comparison with Metal, Metal Gear Solid, it is valid, but I guess it's I guess it's important to point out as well um, the amount of realism the game yeah. is aiming to portray. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. No, of course, of course. No, no, I, um, yeah. I, I kind of did. Uh, um, I, I think I kind of mentioned it earlier on, but like, you know, it's just really briefly. But like, um, I appreciate. Metal Gear is a Hideo Kojima game, and it's mm-hmm. bound to have quirks and little moments and things like that. Yes. And I, and and I, and I, and another thing is, I also understand and fully accept it's a fa- It's almost a, fa- a, 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 a a fantasy. It's almost like a one of these epic adventures, but with things that you'd never normally see in real life. But you accept it because it's part of the actual theme. Exactly. Um, so it's like a, a, bit, a bit like watching James Bond. You watch James Bond, you know there's no fucking watch that can turn into a fucking dog, but he's got one. <laughs> and you still watch it and you go, what the fuck, boy, wow. You know what I mean? But um, uh, Video games are a huge market. Everyone wants to fulfill their own little yeah. fantasy. And if there is a market for that and it's not harming anyone, then obviously yeah. uh, development studios should be free to do whatever they want. Exactly, uh, and I think the I rating think system wrong. is is good enough. Uh, yeah, people can be cautious of what they buy. Uh, yeah. There's enough reviews online nowadays where mm. you can always make an informed purchase. Yeah, I mean, like um, 
I'll take Metacritic, for example, because of the user, the ability for user ratings, you can see that so many people said so much shit about that game, gave it the lowest scores, um, simply because they were pissed off Joel died, which I understand, fair enough, you're, you're a diehard fan, you've mm -hmm. got the tattoo, you've got Joel's ass, no Joel's name on your ass, fine, <laughs> and he dies. <laughs> but he's still in, you know what I mean, he's still in part one, guys. <laughs> but, um, uh, you, you then um, it, it kind of it, it, it's just it's a little bit I think uh, disrespectful in a sense because um, and I'm, I'm saying this in the hope that and I genuinely mean this in the hope that they do win game of the year because it, it is story aside mm -hmm. take the story and put it in a box and seal it mechanics gameplay engine I swear to god they nailed it, man. They fucking nailed it. They oh, yes. really, really oh, did. Yeah. They really fucking did, man. It's like whatever you your feelings are towards the story itself, that's cool. But if you you're gonna if you're gonna rate them, you're gonna you can't just rate them on the story. You've got to rate them on the whole package. And if you ask me, the whole package outweighs the story. The whole package. If <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, the next thing they do. <laughs> with with the, the 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 little bit more power that they have, and it, you know, it just it, it boggles the mind. It's like, what's the, let's just say they make another Uncharted. What's the next Uncharted going to be? I mean, the, just the mechanics and the, uh, everything, the game. It's just going to be so different, so different. It's uh, oh man, it's 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 it's. it's uh, I, I applaud them for that. I give them that. They worked tirelessly for that. When you can see, it's like. Um, They've taken so much shit for it, but personally, yeah. I think they they deserve Game of the Year. That's why they, they work hard and so many people yes. quit. That's true. The crunch, yes, that uh, the big C word, the crunch. Um, <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. I'm not. I'm not saying I agree with it because I think it's fucking wrong, and nobody should have to work more than they're supposed to. That's a given. But <laughs> having said that. Yeah, if it's the difference between me catching the bus or getting a Maserati, <laughs> <laughs> you give me 25 hours, eight days a week, I'm there, bro. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if they're not being paid what they're supposed to get paid, then by all means, you know, uh, fight the system. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you're getting... If at the end of release and everyone has fucking lost ten kilos in like three days, <laughs> yeah, and you and you see a check which they can't even fit all the zeros on, then really, to be honest, I'd be like, "Baby, I'm coming home <laughs> for, well, for no, a keep, year." Keep in mind, keep in mind, it's not all. That's not always the case. Uh, no, most, no, no, of course not. most studios like that uh, have a lot of employees mm. that uh, are hired on a salary that earn their wages and that's it that yeah. excess uh, that excess profit that comes in when the game does well that goes back into further development or you know some greedy yeah, CEO very true, very true. Very, not, very not, true. Not, not, not meaning to be negative about it. I think the reward <laughs> is different. I think the reward right. is rather seeing all those millions of people talking yeah. and enjoy, talking about and enjoying something that mm. uh, you've been a part of uh, making. But also yeah. for Last of Us to just for one last time, I want to take us back there and. The, mm. To draw a comparison, have you guys played the Walking Dead games, the Telltale ones? You have, Vince, haven't you? Uh, three. Or have, or have you played the Batman one? Oh no, I think I played. No, I played the Walking Dead, but with uh, Clementine, the mm -hmm. the girl, the protagonist. Mm -hmm. When the uh, in the first the first game, uh, she's I don't know, she's like nine years old. Yes, and, and... Uh, it starts with where the black guy is arrested uh, with a cop, and they uh, mm -hmm. they crash, and yes. he basically Lee, save himself. Yeah. And then he Lee Lee, and then he finds yeah. uh, Clementine. So but, there is what? Oh no, four. There are four games. 
think about yeah. the struct think about the structure it's basically the same thing lee is a single hardy adult uh capable of surviving mm -hmm. he comes across this uh, little defenseless girl she uh, he raises her to be like mm -hmm. him to be strong to be independent and spoiler alert at the end of the first season lee does die but uh in this trope, you can see it's a natural progression of the mm, student yeah. uh, becoming better than his teacher, and his mm. and the teacher obviously needs mm. the teacher needs some kind of closure to his story as well. So, killing off a character like that should not be perceived as a negative. No, uh, no. What, uh, whatever people want to say, no, especially in the legacy. post apocalyptic, uh, you know, games. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and what... then she, she again, again, uh, passing, passing, uh, on her skills and basically what she she told herself and what uh, <laughs> Lee told her, then she's pa passing it on to uh, to the little kid, yeah, yeah. But yeah, my whole yeah, but great was, games, yeah. like these games are for people who love a really strong uh, story. Yeah, you gotta, um, like you, story you, you, you gotta you gotta love a strong narrative to um, uh, enjoy um, <clears throat> what works that are slow and progressive. Um, you can't be some listen, um, and but you know most people they do know what they want. I mean, you won't get like a. <laughs> Your diehard first person yeah. shooter Call of Duty fan sitting back and then yeah. playing you can't Witcher 3 and going, I really everybody. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a hard thing. rule. It's a very hard rule. Um, they always um, find it's, something, it's, you know? Yeah, like, uh, don't get I watched watch recent. Yeah. No, I was going to say you'll find more people, who, you'll find people who like a long story narrative, you know, story driven game. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, open world, whatever, or you know, sandbox. You'll find that even they still enjoy the odd Call of Duty now and again. But oh, really? um, it, unfortunately, you'll find it's the Call of Duty fans who, when you put, you know, yeah, because <laughs> you, you yeah, I play a little bit, but I still love to play it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, just for the campaign. Because oh, no, I, I love the the narrative, you know, and also, uh, um, I don't know, like there there was this guy uh, recently yesterday. I watched uh, a guy talking about uh, you know Assassin's Creed Valhalla and doing comparison to Odyssey, uh, hmm. obviously giving shit here and that and what was good, and he sort of said, yeah, because because. In an Odyssey, he also said, like in Odyssey, like yeah, that kind of lost it. That was shit. I was just like, again, me. So uh, I I love Assassin's Creed games because there is there is also some mythology here that I love. There is also some history that I love. But if he said like yeah, it's uh it's kind of like the fighting style is a little bit lame, and he said like it wasn't very challenging. But then it to me it's like, do you know what? If you're gonna do something that is repetitive, you to clear out this, this uh, type of uh, area or map, and then you're gonna fight this raid, and uh, every area has the same thing. I don't. I don't think if I would. I would love to do it if it was really challenging. And then I know, and the same thing awaits me. Mm -hmm. You know, like especially in a, like these type of uh, RPGs. So so no. To me, just like I'm watching it and thinking Yo, Vince, to myself. Did you read your like, message? Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it does. It does. So I tell, yeah. so I tell you what we're hearing. And, uh, this is what we're hearing. <laughs> and then I hear. A... <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're hearing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it 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 kind of reminds me of um when Ghost of Tsushima first came out, mm -hmm. and the initial, you know, the initial YouTube reviews you were getting. You know, all these independent <clears> channels. <throat> 
a, b- a bunch of them were complaining and saying, oh, it's a shit game. The combat is just shit. It, is, it doesn't work. Da, 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 da. There's no lock system. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, okay, dude, the game came out at midnight. It's now 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. How the fuck have you managed to, <laughs> to, to come to the conclusion the game is shit? Because you can't beat the fucking first section you're playing. Oh, it's just ridiculous. I find I, I take issue with that. Ghost of Tsushima has some of my has one of my favorite combat systems all time. It, mate, it, it's I, I, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't and then like um you know you, you know how you know you know how I knew it was people who just are impatient. It's like you you know, um a few days later I started reading the reviews, everyone was going, whoa. The combat system's amazing. And it's because everyone's spent two, three days yeah. playing it yeah. and getting used to it and understanding, okay, so this is why they did it like this. I understand. It's, mm-hmm. and, it's, and it's like, just play the game first and then make, a, make, make a dec- an informed decision. Don't, don't put it on yeah. for fucking five minutes and go, oh, shit, there's no lock system. I ain't playing this. But you get a, there's so many people like that. There's so many impatient people. And I, I always say the same thing. It is, Put back Call of, Call of Duty and keep shooting. It's skill based. It requires some thought. It requires uh, exactly. you putting some time into understanding the mechanics of the game, which exactly. which uh, results in you know just the game being so rewarding once you can actually defeat your enemies with ease because you know that you achieved that you didn't just yeah. button mash and oh yeah. wow i'm at the boss level <laughs> exactly <laughs> very true <laughs> very very true and that's what a lot of people love you know <laughs> yeah yeah and, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> and um uh, and it's the same thing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know if uh, I know Vince is, and I don't know if you are, but like it's the same thing with um. It's that issue has always been the same problem with uh, FIFA football and uh, Pro Evolution Soccer because uh, FIFA has the bigger. It's got the bigger audience. It makes the most money because they bought all the rights and uh, the, the basic the rights to all the to to, to, to put most of the world's teams in its game right Mm -hmm. you know bar a few who obviously have contracts with konami for pro evolution so you'll find that the three teams (laughs) that konami (laughs) that konami has contracts with (laughs) are not in fifa with all the other 176 teams around the world (laughs) And then add to that the world club, the well, you know, world, world, um, the national teams, they're all with FIFA, and a lot of the players are all sponsored, and, and they, you know, they all have their faces, and then they've got you know copyrights, and they've got well, they've got basically deals and sponsorships <clears> with EA. <throat> At the same time, you go and you play Pro Evolution. Now, the, the, this is the reason why I'm bringing, bringing this up is because you play FIFA and it is probably the easiest fucking game known to man. You can put that game yes. on the hardest <laughs> level possible <laughs> and it's just pass, pass, shoot, pass, pass, shoot. And then you switch to Pro Evolution and you're, you're like, you're in the uh, fuck knows what stadium they announced because you, it's, evidently it's Barcelona, but they don't say New Camp because <laughs> of a licensing issue. This is years ago. Now I think they have it. But... um. Uh, you, you, you go into new camp. First of all, I'll give I'll give Konami one thing that they have. They are the Nile HC for the visuals, the graphics in Pro are just oh man, it's it's like being in the stadium, bro. It's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but what blows you away is the gameplay of that fucking football game. Why or oh, why could? Konami not have bought the fucking rights to all the teams. They'd be gazillionaires now because they make their mechanic, their fucking mm-hmm. gameplay in that. It's just and it's 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 amazing. It when you when you play somebody in in uh, Pro Evolution, if they're good, maybe they don't even have to be as good as you, or if you know if you're better than them, whatever. But if they're just reasonably good then you'll, you'll probably get a score line of like 2-1, however good you are, because they know the mechanics of the game. 
you play FIFA and it's like fucking you can beat someone 10 nil. <laughs> and it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's just no and there's there's no satisfaction to it because you know um it's the same thing pass pass shoot yeah. pass pass oh lob shoot <laughs> crossing the uh, box sadly yeah. sadly to me fifa falls into the party game category you know those pe- yes those kind of games you only play yeah. with other people always. Mm-hmm. exactly <laughs> Have yeah. you got a Wii? No, but I've got FIFA 21. Oh, yeah. brilliant. You know what I mean? One of them. Yeah, <laughs> or definitely. Mortal Kombat is, is another favorite of mine. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Classic fighting game. That's a fucking badass game, man. That's, that's... <laughs> and I saw a clip today because they've included mm-hmm. in the download content of... Uh, they've included in the new, uh, Rambo and the Terminator. And oh. I saw a face off. <laughs> 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 but the good, the cool thing is they've actually gone and they've actually got Stallone and Schwarzenegger to do the voiceovers. So it's actually both actors doing the voices. It's so cool. Um, if you get the chance, watch watch the watch the video, man. You'll see like a my la- a, my name is slightly yeah. bigger. Than <laughs> it's, this is this is the the actual ent- the entry into the arena for both of them is fucking classic. Stallone comes in on a helicopter, you know, one of them Hueys from like Vietnam. And he's still dressed as he is in Vietnam. And then you've got the classic Terminator, you know, the sparks and the lightning, and then you know the big bright light, and there, and you know he's on the floor like that. It looks really cool. I would love to have a bash at that. It looks really cool, really, really good. No, uh, no. But um, yeah. Oh, you know what I was reading today, fellas? Um, have you read? Have you been reading about this? Um, uh, the the. Well, I, I, how can I describe it? The the uh, confusion of information that's coming out of like Bethesda, and Microsoft, and all that about the acquisition and the acquisition rights. So basically, no, what do you mean? <laughs> basically, um, Phil Spencer, you know, uh, head of Xbox, is coming out and saying that uh, they have to, you know, they're going to have to see what the situation is basically when it comes to like, you know, multi-platform, are we, are they going to still put games on the PS5? Da, 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 da. And then you've got Bethesda who are coming out and say, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, of course it's gonna, we're going to, we're aiming, we're aiming for multi-platform. We want, you know, everybody to benefit. We want everybody to benefit from what we make. And we, you know, it's not just, you know, it's about the money, isn't it really? <laughs> to be honest, the more platforms, the more money. Um, and everyone's kind of talking about like, um, who's telling the truth here? Because it seems like Phil's trying to say, oh no, we're going to get exclusives um, and we're going to pick and choose what Sony can have. <laughs> and Bethesda's kind of saying, no, everybody gets it. And you might get like, you know, timed exclusivity, but <laughs> you're not going to yeah. get like full, full exclusivity. You know, you can get it maybe three months earlier than everybody else. We'll, we'll even throw in a couple of down, bits of download content. That's for you. Same thing that um, Call of Duty has done with Black Ops. You know, uh, Sony obviously has uh, what is it? There's a, is it the down? Is, is it a download content that they have first for the first couple, for a few months? I, I I have to find like go back and check, but I think it's the I think there's a there's a download content that some, that the PS5 gets. Mm-hmm. that Xbox will get in about three months or so. And I think that's what the sort of the uh, the guy from uh, Bethesda was trying to say. Yeah, you, you will have exclusives, but they'll be time. But in the end, everybody will get the game. Um, whereas Phil Spencer mm-hmm. was, trying to leave, was trying to leave that, you know, um, he's trying to shroud it in, you know, in a mystery. Like, oh, I don't know. We still have to discuss it. We know we haven't talked about it. But it, when you read what the guy from Bethesda said, it's, it's as clear as day. It's like, no. You might get timed exclusives, but you're not going to get full exclusivity. I mean, are you fucking yeah. mad? <laughs> the yeah. amount of revenue we do, we do. First of all, I would turn around to Phil and I'd say, first of all, dude, how many Xboxes did you sell on launch? <laughs> Give me a number off the top of your head, Phil. Oh, <laughs> what about Halo? <laughs> oh, there you go. That would be oh. my next question. He's like, dude, are my, are my grandkids going to be alive when Halo comes out? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, coming it's like, out. Uh, it's <laughs> coming out uh, same year as Half Life Three. 
<laughs> and <laughs> also, it's <laughs> next, <laughs> uh, <laughs> next pandemic. <laughs> I've heard <laughs> three months after that, Agent by Rockstar is coming out too as well. <laughs> <laughs>